So I just finished uh, doing a, finishing a Bible study here. It was powerful. Holy Spirit uh, used me mightily. Um, you know, it was the Holy Spirit when people start to say, hey, man, you know, you pick my brain to pieces, you know. And, uh, you know, Holy Spirit just starts to confront all those issues that people are dealing with that I don't know nothing about. But um, well, just a quick little video about what I feel like the Holy Spirit wants me to uh, touch on has to do with like relationships. Um, and these relationships have to do with family as well as close friends. And I feel like what the Holy Spirit is saying is, is that um, it's like, I can just talk for me and what's worked for me. And it's like, when you make God your everything, just really remember that not everybody, let me put it a different way. Nobody's supposed to have the golden key to your relationship with Jesus Christ. Don't give that key to anybody. That key is sacred. And that key that leads to that door of you, of your witness, of your relationship, of your covenant, your relationship with the Lord, inside that, that room that, that, that holds the valuables, the treasure of your experiences, of your testimony, of your knowledge of the Lord, of your, you know, all your affection for God. Don't give that key to anybody because the devil is very sneaky. And he'll use the people closest to you and he'll use persuasive arguments and he'll use like conniving type of uh how was what's the word it's like uh it's this um eloquent type speech that that seeps in through the cracks and it deceives and you'll know it by the way that it produces in the end of the day the advice that they're giving is is death the end result is death meaning if you take it and you live the life that they're telling you to live if you take the counsel that they're counseling you with to to leave or whatever uh the fruit that you will bear would be fruit of man why did i listen regret shame guilt condemnation depression darkness all this faithlessness in you and all this stuff if you ever find yourself that you make a, a mistake if you ever find yourself that you even walk away from the lord if you ever find yourself that you want to return and you want to get back on track with the lord i want to tell you that god wants you more than you want him at all times and that he makes it available the bible says that when you draw close to god god draws close to you so it may be hard and your mouth may feel like it's a thousand pounds. But if you utter the words, I'm sorry, you're already back on track. If you utter the words, get me right, you're already moving at that point. Your words precede your steps. Start to declare and decree what you want for your own life. And then do your, do the natural part. Do the intentions, okay? And don't think about the big picture. Think about the things that you could do, the things that are possible, the things that, oh, that's no big deal. Get that out of the way first. Then build on that platform with bigger things. So many people are looking at the stadiums. They're thinking, oh, I want to go to the nations. Oh, I want to win the millions of souls. And it's like, look look at the neighbor next to you or think about the person that is in the, in the shopping center that that looks like they need Jesus. Like, they, start with there. Start with that first. You'll work yourself up. You know what I mean? Build up your own faith. Build up your own um, edification in the Lord. Where you get to know His ways and know His His voice, you know? And uh, how He leads you and stuff like that. Get to know of that, master that, and then go to the next level. Don't try to move faster than God is moving. Jesus Christ didn't get sent out to do ministry until he was 30 years old and he finishes all of that he all of his work he finished it in three years because at the appropriate time when god calls you you're ready but don't go forth and say oh i'm a deacon i'm an elder i'm an apostle like before your time i have no idea how i ended up talking about this except that god takes over